Alright, so it's the next day and we're back in the garage. Uh, we're about to port this intake manifold. Uh, halfway through the bolt in the trial body, I realized that it had an Allen key for it. We need a circle, uh, 12 millimeter one, M8125. So um, let's go to Ace Hardware and get one. So we made it to Ace and now we're looking for a uh, M8125. Metric screws. M10, M5, M3, M8125, there you go. Alright, so we found uh, the uh, M8125 Circle Allen Hex screw. The only problem is that the head is a little too big to go through the uh, hole, so we're going to have to find another screw. Alright, so we found some heavy duty ones. Uh, the only problem is that the head is still too big to go through there, so um, now, um, what I think I'm going to do is either order one online, something that will fit on here, or or grind up the head just a little bit to make it fit. This hardware didn't have the right allen bolt for this. The, uh, the head of this bolt is, is not tapered enough to go through the, uh, the hole for the trial body. But I do have a quick solution for this and I'm going to have to show you what I'm going to do right now. Alright, so we've successfully uh, bolted the trial body into the intake and now we're going to have to see how much material we're going to have to remove uh, off the intake manifold. In here you can see exactly uh, the difference between, I think this is a 68 to 74 millimeter trial body um, compared to a 68 millimeter uh, opening for the stock Edelbrock intake. Um, we're going to have to mark down how much uh, you know, we're gonna have to cut and then uh, start from there. All right, so we got the uh, intake manifold bolted into the vise. Um, and let's see if we can zoom it in. You can see the mark right here. Come on camera. There you go. So you can see the mark of how much we're gonna have to cut. We're gonna have to be real careful with uh, this one right here because you got the uh, just like a coolant port in there or uh, Yeah, so we're gonna have to just kind of like uh, I don't know taper it down a little bit and not cut a whole lot on this side um, So yeah, let's go ahead and start porting this manifold and by the way, when you guys are working with aluminum, especially like porting stuff, uh, you had to make sure you have, uh, you know, safety glasses and at least a, some kind of a, a mask so that, you know, nothing goes into your eyes or your lungs. So, um, like I said, we're going to have to be real careful with this side right here. Uh, there's a coolant port right here. So we might just have to kind of taper it up a little bit. Um, but other than that, we should be able to cut pretty safely on the other side of the, all around it, I mean. So, um, yeah. Alright, so we got most of the materials out, um, now we're just going to have to clean up the edges. Man, this cell phone is really bad at focusing.
Okay. Yeah, I just want to be live. It's okay. <laughs> so we bolted the uh, throttle body into the intake, and now we're gonna to look at uh, the comparison of how it was before to how it is now. So here is the ported intake manifold. If the cell phone would focused, come on now. Anyway, I didn't cut a whole lot on that area on the top right there, just the fact that you know the coolant air is really thin. And uh, with this application, there's not a whole lot of material left for you know the, the thermal gasket to set into. So what I did is I actually just use a Honda bond, um, but, you know, thin coat of Honda bond around it. Let's see if you can see the uh, Honda bond. There you go. I don't know. I just don't trust those little thermal um, thermal body gasket with this much material left. So. I uh, just thought I'd add that in there. Um, so we're done with that, and I think the next uh, thing to do would be to, uh, I, got, I don't know, just work in a car, I guess, and do some wiring, so, um, yeah. All right, so we plugged in all the uh, the bungs on the intake manifold. Uh, obviously, this one is for the coolant plug that goes into uh, the heater core. Uh, I plugged in all these three. Um, I, won't, I won't be using these. And obviously, this is for the intake air temperature sensor, or also known as IAT. I plugged in one NPT plug right here, and we got two vacuum sources from the intake manifold. This one is going to be used for the blow-off bulb. This one is used for the boost controller from the wastegate to the turbo. And this one is for the vacuum source, um, sorry, uh, for the brake booster. Um, and then we're missing one plug. Um, I don't know if you remember, we used the plug for uh, for the back of the block. But that's not a big deal. We're going to go plug that in later. But I believe that's pretty much everything that we needed to be uh, to do for today. And another good thing about this intake manifold is it has a place for, uh, for the idle air control bulb. So um, you got the... Uh, um, throttle positioning sensor or TPS map sensor goes underneath and um, yeah I believe that's pretty much it for today thanks you guys for watching uh, stay tuned I'll talk to you guys tomorrow actually we're going to the track today so I might take some videos so you guys could see some of the test passes uh, um, of, of my buddy's cars at the track today so I'll see you guys I guess I'll see you guys there